What's up, freaks in the VIP? It's Steve. We're having a freak family sit down. It's late at night, 10, 10 o'clock, 10 something. I don't even know what time it is. But I just had to just hop on here. A little after 10. I'm sure your freaks are still awake. Scrolling through, tweetering, and Instagramming, and all that shit. I just had to jump on here because I've been looking at this stuff for the last couple of days. Look at this. Look what's in my hands here. A couple of crinkled up orange pieces of paper. If you're at the workout Sunday in the mountains, you know what these were, what these represent. We're going to get back into that in a second. But first, the, the workout Sunday in the mountains was fucking awesome. Awesome workout. If you have any comments, questions, want to talk about anything, put it there in the comments. You're all locked in, just flipping that around. So we're going to talk about these orange, crinkled up orange pieces of paper in a second. I wanted to just say it was a, such an awesome workout. My legs were sore from that mountain and I wasn't even doing all the shit that you freaks were doing. So you are fucking awesome. I give you credit for the shit you're doing, going up and down that mountain a couple times, all the other crazy stuff we're doing, the obstacle courses. And then of course, our orange stuff here that we're going to talk about in a second. But first, before we even get to that, I want to talk about the, the hill. Going up that hill, right? Especially going up that hill the second time. And... Looking at the hill, think of the hill as everything that happens in your freaking life. Everything that goes, you're going to face so many hills, so much adversity, so much freaking struggle in your life. And every, every time we looked at that hill, I heard mumbling and grumbling. Looking at the hill, people thinking it's going to be hard, it's hot outside, it's going to, how are you going to carry all that stuff up there? And it's stressing looking at the hill. When you see a hill in front of you in your world, in the real life, and the hill we're just saying is symbolic now, forget the fucking hill out there at the workout. Just think of a hill as a problem in front of you in your life, an obstacle in front of you in your life, in everyday life, with your family, in your business, at work, whatever it is, in school, whatever you're talking about. Instead of looking at that hill like, oh shit, that hill is huge. I'm going to, and then going slower up the hill. Fuck that. You need to attack the hill. Attack the hills in your life. Don't sit there and let them defeat you before you even start because it just looks so huge and impossible that if you're going to do it, you're going to half-ass it. You're going to, oh, let me just pace myself and this and that. Fuck that. You need to attack the hills that are in front of you in your life because every day, and, and I'm sure you've, you've encountered some hills today, and instead you backpedal or you run away or you avoid it or you just go in a different direction or you don't even attempt to, to confront the hill. You can't run away from the hill. You need to run towards the hill. Not just run towards the hill. You need to attack the hill and dominate the hill. And guess what? Once you crush that fucking hill and you get to that top of the hill, you're going to be like, oh shit. That wasn't even as hard as I thought it was. That wasn't even that difficult. This, And you're going to look off in the distance. You're going to see a, a hill that's 10 times fucking bigger. And you're going to be like, and I thought this one was big. The next thing coming in your life is going to be a lot bigger, a lot harder, a lot more of a struggle Especially as you keep elevating your, yourself in life and getting better and better at everything you're doing. The, the hills and the problems and adversity is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what you're training for. You're training for that shit. You're training for the adversity. But now, I want to talk about the, the real purpose of this. I just thought of that now because I was thinking of a hill and I remember some people grumbling about it, Especially after we went up the hill one time. Once we started to go up it the second time. I know some people thought that it was, it was a joke. We weren't really going up the second time. And they're stressing it going up there. Do not be afraid of the hills in life. The hills are all over in life. You need to attack the fucking hill. Don't run away from the hill. Don't avoid the hills in your life. You're going to be confronted with that shit every single day in your life. No matter where you are, no matter what you do for a living, it doesn't fucking matter. You're going to have hills in front of you every single day of your life and you need to just attack it. Not be afraid of it. Not be fearful of it. Not avoid it. You need to attack the fucking hill. But anyway... The real purpose of this is these, these little orange pieces of paper. And let me tell you, this was from, we did our teamwork dream circle, whatever you want to call it, dream teamwork circle, teamwork dream work circle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It was a teamwork dream circle. If you were there, you know what we're talking about, where you literally were reaching for your dreams on these pieces of orange paper. You were reaching for your dreams. Now let me tell you after, so at the top of the hill, I was talking about how we don't leave our, our garbage behind, right? And we, I, I picked up a couple of bottles that was our bottles. I know it was ours because it was the brand we had and I just know it was ours. And I actually picked up a couple of other bottles that weren't even ours. Because you just see trash around you. It's just who you are, how you do it, 
clean that shit up. We're not slobs. We pick it up. Then at the bottom, we're getting ready to leave. We're picking up the equipment. What do I find on, on the ground, on the grass? And this shouldn't be considered garbage. It's this, this was fucking, this literally, there's not much that brings me down. There's not much that brings me down. But seeing these orange things in the grass fucking brought me down. So there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of orange paper that I found in the grass at the, at the bottom of the hill when I was cleaning up. So make sure we didn't leave any of our trash behind. The saddest fucking thing is that these pieces of paper were considered trash and just left behind in the grass. Not the fact, of course, littering, that's one thing. But if you were there, you know that these represented your ultimate dream in your life. Not just like a short term, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds. Not even just fitness. Your ultimate dream of your whole fucking life. That's what these orange pieces represented. And to know that seven of them were just left behind in the grass to just rot away. Just to be thought of as trash and litter. That, that shit brought me fucking down. After such a high of the workout, seeing seven dreams just laying in the fucking dirt, that shit brought me down. And it takes, it not, not many things can bring me down. Not many things can kill my mood. And that shit killed my mood. Not many people could do that to me. So, seven of them. Listen, you were in that circle, just to recap what, what we were doing, if you weren't there, if you couldn't make it. Any goal, any dream you have, these represented your dreams, these pieces of paper. You had to reach out to get it. You will never get, you never would have gotten this piece of paper by yourself. You never would have even gotten it with the help of only one or two people. It took a minimum of five people probably to help you. And you've seen some of the pictures we put out there. A minimum of five people to help you to reach out and grab and grab your goals. You will not do that shit alone. And guess what? You'll fall down. You'll smash your fucking face sometimes reaching for your goals. But what are you going to do? You're going to wipe the goose shit off. You're going to wipe the mud off your fucking face. The goose shit off your elbows and you're going to get up and you're going to re-attack it. You're going to reassess it. Come up with a new, another strategy. You're going to fall down. You're going to get the fuck back up and you're going to do it again. Because this represented like the end of your life dream goal that you would die happy if you accomplished what was on this piece of paper. So what it comes down to also is asking for help. Asking for support. A-S-K. Ask, ask, ask. The, the, half the time shit that doesn't happen for you in your life is because you just didn't ask. Just fucking ask. What's a big ask you could do in your life right now? Who's, where's a, what's a big ask you need to make right now for someone in your life? And you're not going to get there if you don't ask. So if you stood there and tried to reach out for your dream, your fucking ultimate dream of your life, if you tried to reach out there for it by yourself, you would have fell flat in your face and you had no chance of getting this. You need to ask for help. And not just ask for help. You need a strong support system around you of Freaks that are going to help you out. Like-minded freaks. A strong fucking support system. You need to ask them for help. Communicate how you need the help. Let, let And then let people help you. And then be willing to help them to reach their fucking dreams. But the fact that seven were left in the fucking dirt. Ruined my day. Ruined my freaking day. And it's been on my mind since. I kept these. I kept these with me. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these also. You need to ask for help. And... Also, I, I, thinking back and looking at pictures, we took a lot of pictures of it. There's several people that I know didn't go and get their, get, get their, their dream. That someone else must have picked it up for them because I didn't see them in any pictures, any videos, going to get it. A couple of people. So it's like you don't even have, your, your confidence level is so not where it needs to be that you don't even attempt to go for your dreams. And then if you do, you just leave it behind and you quit Quit before you even get, get started. And let me, let me tell you, if you have that support system of people around you, and you, I said a strong support system, not just people around you that you tell your dreams and goals to and they're like, oh, that's going to be impossible, then they're dragging you down. Guess what? Those people that are holding on your fucking leg and holding on your arm and holding on your fucking neck to hang you, to help you, to do whatever it took to help you reach your fucking goals, you need to have a strong support system. And if those if the people around you couldn't help you make it happen, guess what? If the people in your fucking life, in your personal sector right now, can't help you reach out to get this fucking orange piece of paper, those people need to be eliminated and replaced with people around you that will help you do this and will support you and do this and be a strong support system and not some bullshit fakes that just act like they're, they're, they're out for your well-being, but they're not. You can't forget your dreams. You can't fucking leave these behind in a field. 
Because you know what that this tells me? This tells me you you think that whatever because we said to be unreasonable with what you wrote on this what you wrote on this piece of paper with your mind. Be unreasonable with how far you want to take your your goals and your dreams. And you left it out there in the fucking dirt. You left it in the dirt because you told yourself right off the bat that never could happen. That's impossible. I'll never be able to do it. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not even going to get started. I'm not going to ask for help. I don't even need the support system because I'm not even going to even attempt it. You need to set these goals and these dreams and make this shit happen. What do you need to shake up in your fucking life to make sure you can get this shit and you don't leave it behind in the dirt and leave it just as litter and as garbage? What do you need to shake up in your life? And are you willing to shake things up in your life? Because you need to. Especially if you left this shit out there. Listen, even if you didn't leave it out there, if you went out there and asked for help, you got the support, you reached out and you got it, you still need to be willing to shake shit up in your life. So what are you willing to shake shit up in your life? You need to set those goals, set those unrealistic fucking dreams. And listen, when you're setting these goals and you're setting these dreams, I guarantee some of the things that you wrote on this piece of paper in your mind, I guarantee some of the things you wrote on this paper, piece of paper in your mind was was so small and nowhere near where as far advanced as it should have been. We're talking ultimate, unrealistic, crazy, off the fucking wall dream you're supposed to be putting on there. I guarantee it was something, some of them were so little and small thinking. Because you, you have to make sure that you're never limiting the vision, like the vision and the dreams that you have for the future. You can't limit it based on your current capabilities or your current skills or your current circumstances or where you're at right now. So you can't think, all right, let's just say you didn't know how to swim. You can't limit your ultimate dream on not knowing how to swim. You have to go to your ultimate dream, what it is, what do you want to accomplish in your fucking life? And then work your way backwards. Okay, now figure out what skills do I need to learn? What capabilities do I need to come up with? What relationships, what habits do I need to have? Think of, think of and recognize what skills, habits, relationships you need to create, what relationships you need to cultivate, what relationships you need to freaking nurture to get to where you need to be. Don't, don't base your goals. Don't set goals. Don't, don't set your fucking dreams on, on, on your current capabilities, like where you're at right now. Because that's just limiting yourself to there. That means you're never going to grow. You're never going to improve just where you are right now. You need to set them on outrageous fucking things. Where now you can work your way back and say, okay, now to get to here, I'm here. My dream is here. Not here and my dream is here or even here. I'm here. My fucking dream is here. So now what do I need to do to close that gap? I need to learn this skill, this skill, get better at this and this. It could be whatever it is. Communication, building relationships, asking for freaking help, dumping the fucking losers that you're around and building up a stronger support system. Don't dream on, on the, the current and the possible. Don't dream on your current level and your current possible. Dream fucking big. Dream on the future and the impossible. I'm going to say that again because that's some, some strong, deep shit. Don't dream on the current and the possible. Dream fucking big on the future and the impossible. Set the dream. Work it, work it backwards. Don't leave your fucking dream out in the field. Because it's the size of your life, the size of your life, the size of your dream reflects the size of your fucking thinking. And guess what? Small thinking leads to small actions, leads to small dreams, leads to small existence, leads to fucking unhappiness. That's what that shit does. Small thinking is going to lead to small actions. That's just the way it's going to be. Think fucking big. Dream fucking bigger. Take massive freaking action in the direction of your dream every day, in the direction of that freaking piece of paper every day. And you can't reach it. If your support system around you isn't strong enough, find a new support system. Get rid of the freaking people that are dragging you down, that are holding you back and pulling you back. And then you know what? Like someone was yelling out. I don't know who it was yelling it out. When we were doing this teamwork dream circle, someone said, just fall, just drop and you'll get it. And you know what? That is the best advice on there. Sometimes you have to just jump. Jump out of the fucking plane and build your parachute on the way down. And if your support system around you is strong enough, all, that, all you had to do in that circle was just drop. Once everyone was locked on to the right points, all you had to do was drop. Because now you're holding your own self back with your own self-limiting beliefs and your fear and your doubt and your procrastination holding yourself back. Because some of you were crunching up in a ball instead of just standing tall and just going for it and just dropping. If you just dropped, 
Half the time, if you just dropped once the people had you, guess what? You would have fell right into place. You would have snatched it up in three seconds. But you cringed up, you hesitated, and, and, you, and you held back. So it's not only, we're not always saying you need to be asking for help and have a support system. Also, we always know it starts from the fucking neck up with you having the belief that it's even possible. You having the faith that it's even possible of what you want to do. So again, the small thinking is going to lead to small actions. The size of your life is going to reflect the freaking size of your thinking. So when it comes to the dream, schedule everything. Everything you're doing, schedule it. And you might think, like, like literally, you should know what you're doing every minute of the day almost. Like you should schedule it and you think, oh my God, that's too crazy. It's going to take too much time. I, I, can't, I can't do any of that stuff. And it's going to take away from my freedom. But guess what? Discipline and scheduling does not take away from your freedom. Having a rigid schedule. Like I know what I'm doing every block of the day from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep for the most part. At least for the first half of the day and the second half of the day. Maybe not. Maybe it's some stuff with the kids or whatever. But I know what I'm doing every fucking minute of the day from 4 a.m. until I go to sleep at whatever time, 10, 11, hopefully a little earlier than that, but I, I need to get a little more sleep. That's a whole nother story. Schedule everything. Because listen, discipline and scheduling and organization, it doesn't take away from your freedom. It actually does the opposite. It fucking creates freedom. Discipline equals freedom. Discipline and organization and scheduling your day creates free time for then you to do whatever that you want to you I call it stupid time I schedule my smart time but I also schedule stupid time I earn that stupid time with having a rigid disciplined consistent schedule and organized and it creates freedom discipline and scheduling and organization equals freedom pick of Michelle was awesome yes that picture of Michelle is like that is like we're going to get that picture blown up. That was like just a perfect. And you saw the faces of the people helping that they would die before they let her fall. They would die before they let her quit on her dreams and leave her fucking dream behind in the woods and give up on it. Like it was, that was just a perfect picture, full extension on there, reaching out for it so close to it. The grimaces of the faces that were holding her, like it told a, a, a massive fucking powerful story in that one picture. And that's the way it needs to be. Your goals need to be freaking emotional. You ever need to have an emotional connection to your dreams. And that's what's going to keep you keeping those habits going day in and day out. And then you need to reflect on the, wh where you're at on a weekly basis. Reflect on where you're at with your, because it's an emotional connection. You need to keep reflecting on it about are your habits and your, are your structure and your organization and your discipline for the day leading you towards the freaking goal. Now, listen. This shit really brought me down. I have not been able to like, I swear, I swear to you, I haven't been able to sleep at night thinking about these orange pieces of paper and I'm fucking dead serious and I'm going to keep these for a long, I'll probably keep these forever. You ask me in fucking 10 years, I'll show you these pieces of paper. I'm going to hold on to these few because I'm not willing to let you fucking just quit on your dreams and drop your dreams and give up on them because you think it's too far, too hard. It's going to take too much work. I have no one supporting me. Guess what? Get rid of the fuckers who are around you who aren't supporting you. I don't give a shit who it is. I don't care if it's your family. I don't care if it's your wife, your husband, your fucking partner, your goat. I don't give a shit who it is. It doesn't matter who. Find a better support system in your personal life. You know you have a, a support system here with your freaks. But the other 23 hours of the day... You need to have a support system around you that's going to help you get these and help you not leave this out in the field. I will hold on to these dreams. I will keep these fucking dreams safe for you while you get your shit together and do what you have to do to be in a position where you can go out and reach these fucking dreams. And we will help you. This entire team and all the freaks here in, the, in this group will help you every single step of the way. And we're not talking about just weight loss. Of course, we know that weight loss and fitting your genes and looking better and all that stuff healthier, that's all going to be a byproduct of this. That's going to be just a byproduct. That's going to happen. It's so much further, so much more than just fucking working out and eating healthy. Don't leave your shit behind. Don't quit on your fucking dream. I'm going to hold on to this for I will keep these safe for you. I'm going to keep these right here in this top, top drawer of my desk right here. I'm going to look at those every single time I come to this desk and open this drawer. I'm going to see those. I'm going to remember it and I'm going to make sure to do whatever it takes. Just like in that picture, I'm going to grimace. I'm going to fucking hold the line. I'll do whatever it takes to help you get there. But you need to start getting your shit together and realizing what it's going to take. What it's going to take in your own freaking head, in your own mindset to make this shit happen. 
So if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Anything you want to talk about. Don't forget, the hills are in your life all the time. Attack the fucking hills in your life. Don't run away from the hills. Don't slow down when you get to the hills. Pick up speed. Attack them. You, you're, you're going for a run. You're going for a run around the neighborhood. And you get a hill? Guess what? That run turned into a fucking sprint. Sprint up that motherfucker. Attack that hill. Dominate. Operate to dominate in your life. Because you are fucking awesome. No excuses.